Hey everybody, welcome to my channel Medicosis Perfectionalis. Today let's discuss a medical vignette together. You have a 50 year old Caucasian male comes in complaining of abdominal discomfort and early sense of satiety, as well as pallor and fatigue. On physical exam there is splenomegaly. On peripheral smear you find these cells. Platelet count is 70,000. An attempt to perform bone marrow aspiration yields a dry tap. So what's the most likely diagnosis? So don't forget the age pattern, 50 year old, it's like a middle aged male, Caucasian and with abdominal discomfort and early sediety, probably splenomegaly, okay. Pallor and fatigue, these are symptoms of anemia. On peripheral smear you find this cell, it has in high nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio plus tiny cytoplasmic projections. This is an abnormal lymphocyte known as hairy cell, which is a B lymphocyte. Platelet count of 70,000 is very low. This is thrombocytopenia. Bone marrow aspiration gives you a dry tap. So, 50 year old male, splenomegaly, anemia, hairy cells, dry tap. What's the diagnosis? The answer is hairy cell leukemia. What should you do next or what's the next best step? Look for the Philadelphia chromosome. No, Philadelphia chromosome is CML and some types of ALL. How about PAS stain? This stains sugar and carbohydrates. Immune phenotyping uh, or test for cryoglobulins. No, this is not cryoglobulinemia, so not cryoglobulins. The answer is immune phenotyping, which is the same thing as saying flow cytometry or immune histochemistry. Few weeks later and before any medical treatment or intervention, this patient peripheral smear started showing these cells, these cells and these cells. What is the first cell? The first L is cell is nucleated red blood cell. What is the second one? This is a whole jolly body. What is the third one? This is Heinz bodies. I've talked about them in previous videos. The question now is which of the following should you deduce? Blast crisis, leukostasis, neoplastic cells have invaded the spleen or immune hemolytic anemia? And the answer is C. The neoplastic cells have invaded the spleen rendering the spleen non-functioning because if the spleen were functioning it would have destroyed all of these abnormal red blood cells and removed them from the circulation but since we have these abnormal cells in the circulation it means that the spleen is not functioning properly so the proper answer is C. So guys if you like this video and would like to know more about hairy cell leukemia I've made an entire video describing this disease so make sure to watch it. That's it for today don't forget to subscribe and like me on Facebook follow me on SoundCloud and please consider supporting this channel on Patreon you can get early access to videos you can get my t-shirt and you could ask me to make specific videos for you and I'll make it happen. This is Medicos Perfectionalis, until next time, be safe, stay happy and study hard.